And we move on to our next story in the realm of Star Wars. AJ, it's time to talk about Star Wars. Let's bring out the sweaty nerds. Time for the toxic sweaty nerds of the Star Wars universe. Because we now have... I'm I'm happy to hear this, I have to say. Um, our man John Boyega says he's open to appearing in a future Star Wars movie. So John says some things in this article which I don't entirely agree with, but we'll, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll adjust those. John Boyega has revealed that he's open to making a return to the Star Wars universe, but only if the project is the right fit for him. In, a, in an exclusive Tech Radar interview to promote his new Netflix film, They Clones Tyrone, Boyega confirmed that he hasn't fully closed the door on appearing in a future Star Wars film. <laughs> Lots of money. However, he suggested it would have to be the right time for Finn, the character he played in the franchise sequel trilogy, to show up. Boyega's Star Wars future has been a hot topic of discussion since he criticized the decision to sideline ethnic minority characters as the sequel trilogy progressed. In Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, Boyega's Finn played a big role in how its story played out. However, in Star Wars Episode 8 and Episode 9, Phil and Kelly Marie Trans Rose Tico, to name just two characters, were moved to the per periphery in favor of the franchise's white characters, such as Daisy, Ridley, Daisy Ridley's Rey and Adam Driver's Kylo Ren. In a lengthy GQ interview in September 2020, Boyega also hit out at certain sections of Star Wars fan base for racially abusing him and Tran. At the time, Boyega said, I'm the only cast member who had their own unique experience of that franchise based on their race. Let's just leave it like that. It makes you angry with a process like that. It makes you much more militant. It changes you because you realize I got given this opportunity, but I'm in an industry that wasn't even ready for me. Nobody else in the cast had people saying they were going to boycott the movie because they were in it. Nobody else had the uproar and death threat sent to their Instagram DMs and social media saying black this and black that and you shouldn't be a stormtrooper. Nobody else had the experience, but yet people are surprised that I'm this way. That's my frustration. In the near three year period since the interview, Boyega has made peace with his experience as a black actor in Star Wars. It's unclear that the what the future holds for Finn in Lucasfilm's iconic universe, but there is growing speculation that we could see him again in a future Star Wars movie. And it goes on and he elaborates a bit on a few other things. Um, again, if I could go first on this one, because I think it's kind of two pronged this. So I remember very clearly when the Force Awakens trailer dropped and people got very angry at John Boyega uh, being a stormtrooper and there were calls for no black stormtroopers. Like, it was utterly ridiculous and it was disgusting. You know, that was the first sign of the toxicity within the Star Wars fandom and in the wider movie sphere, which is, it's so sad. You know, we've spoken about this recently in other, in other formats of, of racism towards actors. We were talking about our disagreement with Snow White being cast as a you know by a, as a colombian last week but we also said that we you shouldn't be attacking the girl just because she's collecting a paycheck that's ridiculous like leave john alone leave rachel zegler alone so i do remember those events happening and it's horrible and i i can't even imagine what he went through and how you know his experience within star wars was driven by race as he said however i do think he's driving a bit of a nasty line here by saying that the ethnic minority characters were sidelined in the following movies, um, as in after episode seven, so episodes eight and nine. It, it, it is true, you know, Finn, who's black, was sidelined. Oscar Isaac, who's Hispanic, was sidelined. Kelly Marie Tran was sidelined. But it wasn't their movie. This was Ray's movie. And can we also recognize that it's the first time that it's been a female who was the lead. So you can pull the string each way here. You can, and it doesn't matter what you think of Ray, whether she's a Mary Sue, whether you love her, not the point. The fact is, is that with episode seven, some people would say it was going woke, but Star Wars was embracing a whole new identity that featured black, Hispanic, and women as their leads. Now I know people will say, oh, but Princess Leia was one of the leads. She was a lead. She wasn't the lead. Ray was the lead. So I, I don't entirely agree with the way Boyega's phrased this, but again, of course, by his own admission, he's become quite militant about this because of the unfair treatment he got. But I obviously can't speak for a black man's experience within a 
within a movie production when he's been having death threats sent to his Instagram, which is disgusting. AJ, your thoughts on Boyega returning to Star Wars? So I'm going to, the, the first thing I'm going to point out is I remember Daisy Ridley deleting all social media because I think she was getting a lot of attacks. So as much as John's waving the flag for his attacks, and I, I get it on a racial slur, he probably was the only one. And I, I don't know what Oscar Isaac went through. And trust me, I'm in support of John for that slight militancy. And I, I put it this way. Here's the thing. Episode seven gave us characters that you could follow and like you know i remember saying like yeah finn's this is pretty cool what finn's doing obviously i i i unpopular opinion big ray fan huge ray fan you know i will still rave that flag and what and then if episode seven is the rehash of episode four as the world likes to call it and i'm not saying that you have to get empire and what have you but in the same vein that as much as you've got Luke Skywalker, you are able to get a Princess Leia, a Han Solo, and the rest. It wouldn't have hurt if we had got that with these extra characters. I think it's, mm. dare I say, coincidental that they happen to be minorities. Yes. I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that had, had the roles been White reversed. Obviously, yeah, what I'm trying to say is, is that uh, obviously Kylo Ren there's no way John Boyega could be Han so um Anakin's grandson so that would have been an issue we could that would have been too stupid but had you role reversed I don't believe you, I, I believe the characters would still be in the same situation that is essentially what I'm trying to say you know it's just who you're playing and the way it worked out had Kelly Marie Tran and Daisy Ridley swap place again she, how would she be Palpatine's granddaughter but it, it, it works you know I think that it, it's Ray is the situation it's Ray and it's um I can't remember his name. Why am I blanking? Adam no, Driver. Kylo. Adam, Adam Yeah, Kylo Ren. The it's the characters behind the story. It's guess what? The evil and good have reversed, and now they're gonna swap because there's a redemption story, which again go back to a, a very early episode. I called it, and I'm not a Star Wars fan, but you could just see the game they were playing. But it wouldn't have hurt to have had an extra focus on these characters. So Will Finn come back? Yeah, but now how do you make it a story? Like, what are you going to do? Is it going to be in the, in the same vein as Solo when we're just going to expand on that universe to show what, this is what Finn was worth? Because what is Finn going to come back? What is John Boyega going to come back for without it being a fear of being a sideman again? Respectfully, because he said that's what he felt. What story are you going to do short of giving Finn the limelight to elevate that again? Because it could happen again in the next trilogy. That it starts off good, ends off weak. Yeah, no, you make a very good point. I, th I think the only way for Finn to come back in the list of movies that they've got set up is for him to come back in the movie where, where which is the follow up to to, to Ray's story. Because obviously Finn and Ray had a close bond. That would, you know, Finn and Ray's adventures in the galaxy far, far away, so that he's an equal side character to Ray, like he was in Episode Seven. You can definitely capture that magic again in Ray's standalone movie that's coming up in the next few years. But play nicely now, Star Wars fans. Leave your thoughts and your comments in the section down below. What did you think of John Boyega as a <gasps> black stormtrooper? And what do you think of the uh, chances of John Boyega rejoining Star Wars?